Hey guys, yes, this is Corrette Velo. I'm a lockback mega superstar. Oh, yes, your African prince, the mega superstar, right here with you on the bus. Keep it locked down. I love you guys. Thank you so much. God bless you. <laughs> For a fact, I have Cora De Bello in the house, guy. What's up? Good, boss. Good morning. How's man, it going? welcome, man. How's UK treating you? Really, really nice, man. Really good uh, hospitality. Is very, yeah, very nice. a lot of love from yeah. the honeys, huh? Exactly. My beloved is them, you know. Yeah, uh, feeling that. Showing me love, so I feel good. Real man. Okay, what? Well, how does it feel to be an African prince? Especially when you're outside of Africa. <laughs> so it, it feels, it feels, um, it feels like you're. Um, is it like um, coming to America? Or yeah, you know that kind of thing. Week. But yeah. you know, it's it's different because you know when people that uh, know you get to see you, yeah. it's a different experience because they haven't seen you in a while, or they only see you from a very far perspective. So when they see you, they show you much more love and um, a lot of excitement I'm feeling all over their face. So it's, um, it feels good to you know from Africa. Well, cool. For Africa. Yeah, for Africa, representing Africa. Yeah. That's what we love. We're proud to be Africans. Definitely. Africa, for real. I, I know you started singing at yeah. a very early age. Um, okay. You were about seven. Yeah. I was and you were rocking the mic already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, man, your and parents. School, actually. Um, yeah, I was stage performances and during school, like my primary school. Okay. So, yeah. It wasn't like. Um, yeah, it was. It was. It was right. like um, school gathering shows. Not yeah. like um, outside shows. It was doing school, um, school performances and um, um, doing dramatic classes and stuff yeah. like that. That's the first time I actually got exposure to to, to music. Yeah, is that to how you music, got into entertainment? To is that why you got involved in the entertainment yeah, business? Yeah, because prior, prior to that time, I didn't actually know what to do. I just know yeah. that I love to sing and dance. But yeah. at that particular time, that particular day, that particular hour, I just found myself in front of the stage, and um, I was singing and dancing, and everybody was like screaming. It came naturally. Yeah, it came naturally. And everybody was screaming, and I was like, "Wow, okay, this is good. Let's see what this is." But I, I, I didn't take. Uh, um, position at any point in time that I wanted to be a musician. It just happened naturally. I just kept doing what I was doing and found myself here. How oh, are wow. um, you? Your infamous um, wing, right? Yeah. Wow. Did you plan that for real? It was. It was the ladies are loving it. Unintentional wing. You know, I didn't. I didn't mean to break. Uh, you know, to cause wow. a bit of a sin. I just look thought about someone in my mind and. And it happened. Put out, put it out there. And you want to drop name? It happened. No, I'm not dropping names because you know people be watching right now. Yeah, yeah. So how did it happen? The hookup. The hookup. Uh, Just so I want to know how you felt sitting down with the Don himself. I have to put pen on paper. It's a year. It felt really great, man. And um, just thinking about it again is is overwhelming because. It's I mean, cool. Because someone had already told him about it um, yeah. some months back. Yeah, listen to this kid, listen to this song. His name is Creative Bello. And I was like, okay, let me listen to it. But it didn't, it didn't, like, it was um, probably um, swept away swept away by, you know, things that were happening online at that time. But um, later, another person came in uh, months later and, like, Jazzy, you need to listen to this guy. Okay. And so, this is Creative Bello that you guys are talking about. And he like, um, okay, I've got to listen to my songs. And I was like, whoa. Oh, then he invited us over to the studio, asked me some questions, and I was okay. impressed with, with uh, my responses and um, my my music, and said, you know, I think we can work together. You have a lot of potential. Uh, right. At that particular time, they were like, there was a competition online actually. He was yeah. looking for like artists, about five thousand entries. But by the grace of God, I wasn't I wasn't even part of the competition. But God just made it happen. Don't forget, I need to know who invented that dance move. Uh, government dance move. I've been practicing on myself. Ah, nice. <laughs> the government dance was um, inspired by a little kid I found online. Oh man. Yeah, seriously. One African boy on on YouTube actually. I saw I just stumbled on the video one day, I was like, what is this? <laughs> it was so hilarious. I was I just kept on watching, watching, watching. So it just 
fits in place when we're shooting the Godwin video. I was like, okay, this has to be the Godwin then. And before then, we had already started dancing it in the studio. Like, <laughs> I said, yo, this has to be the Godwin dance. Then I'm um, doing the video. I said, yeah, let's do it. And it came out really nice. Shout out to that like, kid though. Yeah, cool. Hey guys, it's Dami B and here at the Hackney Empire, still at Crack Your Ribs events. Now, I have to bring your press play. You know, obviously with all this enjoyment, I still have to bring your press play. So I've got two fantastic movies for you. The first one is called Code of Silence. Ooh, very spooky. Now, it's starring Amonia Bolly, Iniedo Precious Azokwa, to name a few. Now, it's a story about a girl who goes through a very, very major ordeal. And a lot of realistic facts are played in the movie. Here's the trailer. Infected, bled to death, or something even worse. But I can't. I'm Catholic. I don't believe in abortion. He has to take whatever condition you're in. Go and yeah. order for one full kilo of condom. It's when I enter there, you begin to enjoy it. You got his carrot! You went and took money from a man that raped my own daughter. We have to break this code of silence. It's going to keep happening. Now the next movie is called One Fine Day. Now it's starring a lot of veterans. We've got Olu Jacobs, we've got Joker Silva, we've got Funke Akindele, we've got Frederick Leonard. I mean the list is endless. Now this is a movie about a family who have their ups and downs but there's one particular character in the family that poses more of a difficulty than anything else. And then all of a sudden one day everything changes. Here's the trailer. That's the animal that raped me. What? Yes! Is this pretty? Oh, <laughs> well, tell me, who would believe the ramblings <laughs> of a retarded woman? Just why can't you just believe me? I'm not lying! But how can you believe anything that comes out of the mouth of the mad sister? I will not allow you to destroy this family. I want to die so I can have peace. Hey guys, that's it from me, Dami B. Press play, still at Hackney Empire. I'll see you next week. Hey guys, I'm bringing you new music alert straight here from Hackney Empire Crack Your Rips, man. I got two hot videos for you. The first one I'm gonna be dropping is MI called Bullion Van featuring Fino and the girl you need to watch out for called Stone Rex. Kick back and enjoy this. The video is directed by Mr. Max. Time, I send the young, all these small boys with the shakara. I learned them all thinking. I got money, you know, yeah, I got rah. Nigga, I'm being kicking. Huh. Next video is equally very hard. Oh, it's the band, the party master himself, featuring Idris Elba and Shadow Boxer. This video is very classy. Man, you need to kick back and enjoy this too. Catch you on the other side. It's new music alert. No man, then, then the talk like. So guys, it's been wonderful. It's been an amazing event. Of course, I'm coming to you live from the Hackney Empire where Crack Your Reefs event has been occurring with amazing stars, amazing cast of stars has been entertaining the crowds all night. Unfortunately, now as they say, good things at some point have got to come to an end and this is it for us. But listen, before I go, I must remind you not to forget to keep watching the show. It's the Buzz TV show. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, follow us on Facebook and everywhere else you can follow us. We're everywhere, even Snapchat included. So from me, from this beautiful, beautiful place, I don't know if you can see behind me. Can you see behind me? Yeah, that's the cast just finishing their thing. Anyway, from me, Amungozi, it's been lovely having you with us. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye for now.